Okay, another really challenging bar modelling, bar vember um, maths question from White Rose Maths. And yeah, this is really challenging. I don't think I've ever modelled a question. Or I know I've never modelled a question like this before. So um, it'll be very interesting to see how I get on. Um, and it's worth then bearing in mind why are we doing this? Why do we use bar models? And that is to help us visualise what is going on in a problem so that we can more easily see what calculations we need to perform in order to um, answer the question that we're asked. OK, so, um, well, let's have a look. We've got a long, complicated question here with lots of information. Marie has a box of cubes. 30% of the cubes are pink and 70% of the remaining cubes are blue and the rest are green. There are 266 more blue cubes than pink ones. Marie takes some of the blue cubes out of the box. The blue cubes now make up 40% of the cubes in the box. How many blue cubes were removed? Gosh, an awful lot. If that wasn't enough, you've got all of this going on. So, um, right, where shall we start? Now, if you, I'm going without my uh, usual comfort blanket of a gridded black background. Let's just see if I can draw a block to represent my box of cubes. OK, so box of cubes. Right, this is what this represents and what are we told okay 30 percent of the cubes are pink okay i can cope with that so i eyeball that i think that's about there so this is 30 percent and that's pink okay all right we're good now what? 70% of the remaining cubes are blue and the rest are green. Ah, OK, this is already getting quite tricky. Um, I've already got a 70% in my mind and it's not this one because we've just marked 30% here. So this we must all, probably already thinking this is 70%. Uh, OK, this is 70% of the entire box is made up that well, the remaining cubes. I'm going to use a blue green pen to mark this out because in this bit are the blue and green um, cubes and these are the remaining cubes referred to here. OK, but we're told that 70% of the remaining cubes are blue. OK, let's have a look. Um, so 70%, let me just think that's probably about there, 70% of this bit, okay, is blue, it says, okay. And that means that this bit must be green, so I'm going to put that in. Okay. Now, if this is, so this is... 30% of the entire box, 30% of the entire box. What is this of the entire box? This is 70% of 70%. OK, so I need to do 70% um, of 70%. That might have gone off the board, I don't know. Um, that's going to be 70 times 70 divided by 100, so that's going to give me 49 so I know that this is 49% of the entire box, OK? And if this is 30% and this is 49%, if we add these together, we're going to be able to calculate that this must be 21%. Fantastic. We look like we're getting somewhere. OK, we have some information here. Right. Let's move on to the next piece, the next bit, there are 266 more blue cubes than pink ones. OK, so there's 266 more cubes in here than there are in here. But um, this actually isn't a, a really good way to look at um, differences like that, to compare um, blocks. So I'm actually going to draw a new block, I think. So well, a new 
so I'm going to do a comparison model. So this is my, um, this is representing pink. And I'm going to do a block to represent the blue. And this is going to be bigger because this is 30% and this is 49%. All right, so we know that that's bigger. Right, so blue. Right, what do we know? Let's fill in all the information that we know. So this is 30%. Um, and this is 49%. Okay, that's good. Um, what else do we know? Well, we know that there are 266 more blue cubes than pink. So these are the pink, these are the blue. So this is the difference between them. So this space here is the difference between the pink and the blue and we're told that there are 266 cubes in that space okay that's that's this is 266 cubes right how does this help us well we also have some information about the percentages so let's have a look if i do this maybe you can see that if that's 30%, then this bit must be 30%. Okay. And if that's 30% and this is 49%, then this bit must be the difference between 30% and 49%, which is 19%. Okay, so we now, and this is, this is where we've discovered something really important, because we can now um, work out a, a base unit, because if we know that 19% um, equals 266 cubes, we can work out what, um, how many cubes equals 1%. So if I do 266 divided by 19... 19 into 26 gets once. There we go, 14. So 1% equals 14 cubes. Now that is really important information. Right, now let's see what it is that we need to do. What could we work out? Well, we could work out now what number of how many cubes are in here, how many cubes are in here, how many cubes are in here, and um, and of course we already know this difference. So we can calculate a lot of information, but um, let's have a look what we need to do, what we actually need to do. Marie takes some of the blue cubes out of the box, okay, so some of these cubes are going to go, and the blue cubes now make up 40% of the cubes in the box. Right, now, okay, I've just spotted what I think is a, an enormous trap here. I think those um, white rose maths folks must have been chortling over their Yorkshire tea when they thought this one up. Right, okay, 40%, so we've, we've got a, a percentage here and we've got all of these percentages here. So um, we know that um, this entire thing is 49%. So it's going to be really tempting, and I think this is where we're meant to be tempted, I think it's going to be really tempted, tempting to think, okay, that's 10%, um, and that would be 9%, and that perhaps what we need to do is just get rid of this 9% to leave us with 30 plus 10, 40%. Looks good, yeah? Okay, and, and, and that all we'd need to do is multiply um, our base unit 14 by 9 to find out how many cubes this is. But the 
The problem is if we take some cubes out, there are going to be fewer cubes in the entire box, which is going to um, change the all the percentages, isn't it? It's going to, to change all of the numbers. So um, it looks like we're going to have to do uh, some more figuring out here and possibly some more drawing. OK, because we're going to end up with a new box, aren't we? Right. Um, let's see, what shall we do now? I think that we need to, we're going to need to know what some of these numbers are. Um, let's have a look. Actually, let's draw the new box first. I'm going to draw a new box. Okay, as badly drawn as the first box. So this is our, and I'm just going to choose um, another colour just so that we can see more easily. So, so this is our new box. Okay, and what do we know? Um, we're going to have to, to fill in some numbers. So, actually, I'm going to leave that unpopulated for the moment. I'm going to, to start working out some of the numbers here, so how many cubes we had, because what, what hasn't changed? We know that the number of blue cubes is going to change, but the number of pink cubes and the number of green cubes is going to remain the same. So let's start by working out some of the original numbers and um, and then we know where we are. So if our base unit is 14, um, let's find out what um, how many cubes are pink. So that's going to be um, 14 times 30. Okay. OK, so that's going to be 420. So um, so this is 420 cubes are pink. OK, um, what's the next one we want to work out? Well, actually, we can work out the blue, how many there were. All right. Although that we know that that's one that's going to change. We'll find we might as well find out um, how many there were. So that's 14 times 49%, that's for the 49%. Okay. All right. Okay, 686, so that's 686 um, blue cubes originally. Okay, and then we need to work out the green. I should have put, um, so that's um, blue. And then let's work out the green, so that's going to be um, 14 times 21. Okay. Okay, and that's 294. Actually, that's my wrong green. So green is 294, 294. So I now know um, how many cubes I had in each. Now, um, what's not going to change? Let's put together the ones that aren't going to change. So um, I'm going to make that my pink and I'm going to actually my pink, I'm going to make that my 
green. Okay, so um, so what do we know? Pink we know is 420, and green we know is 294. And I've put these together because they're the numbers that aren't going to change. And here at the moment, the blue in the new box is our question mark. We don't know that yet um, because some of the cubes are going to be taken out and we don't know what that is. But we do know, what do we know? What we do know is that is going to be 40% of this new box. Okay. So that's what we do know. That's the information that we have. So because the, the blue cubes are going to make up 40%, but we don't know what value that is. Um, and, but we do know how many pink and green cubes um, there are because those aren't going to change. Now, if that's 40%, that means this must be 60%. Yes? So um, here... We're actually, it looks like we're going to be able to connect a percentage to a number of cubes again. So I need to add um, 420 to 294. Okay. And that gives me 714. So I know that this is equal to 714 cubes. Goodness, okay, right. So 714 cubes is equal to um, 60%. So I'm going to have to calculate a new sort of base value all right, from my new box, all right? Because 1% in my new box, 1% does not equal 14 cubes. That's what it's in the old box. I need to figure out what that is in my new box. So um, let's do that over here. And we're going to do um, 714 divided by 60. Okay, so that's going to be 1. Okay, 11.9. Okay, so 1% in my new box equals 11.9 cubes. All right, this is um, new box. Wow, okay. So what do I want? I want to figure out what 40% will be okay so that's going to be so I'm going to do um, I'm actually going to do 119 times 4 and concentrating hard Four hundred and seventy-six. Okay, so ah, uh, now right, fantastic. Now I know that in the new box there are four hundred and seventy-six blue cubes. Okay. Now what? What's my? There's an awful lot of calculating here. Um, what often happens? You find that when kids are doing problems, they forget what the actual original question was. So let's go back and find out what's our original question. And here it is. There's the, the question. How many blue cubes were removed? OK, well, um, in the old box, there were 686 blue cubes. And in the new box, there are only 476 new um, cubes. So I need to subtract 476 from 686. So 686 take away 470. Six and that's so, and I think that is going to be our final answer. So, the 
answer is um, 210 blue cubes were removed. Right, I think I'm there. I hope I am. I hope that's helped.